Hi guys, I'm Sarah Hall, and today we're going to talk about the concept of God. I know that the word God can be off-putting for some of you, and it seems not uncommon for people to have an aversion to using this word, because it might bring up discomfort with past cultural concepts of God in which maybe a fickle and often angry old man with a long beard sitting in the clouds judges souls. Trust me, I'm, I know how you feel if this is you. I myself was once uncomfortable using the word God. Today we're going to talk about who or what God really is. And I must preface this with the humble statement that I am sure our discussion will hardly begin to scratch the surface of the enormity of God. But in the simplest of terms, I would love to share with you what I have learned over the years from working with the angels. God is pure love. That to which we refer as love is an incredibly intelligent, powerful, and creative force. It is infinite and unlimited in its nature. Its function is infinite expansion, creation, and evolution. We recognize and crave love as something that is good because it is our origin. Our very nature drives us to recognize, create, and passionately seek love in literally all that we do because we are expressions of love. Love is the energetic force that gave rise to all of consciousness. Our awareness and selfhood is the result of love. And everything we experience in our lives is fed by love in its many forms. God is the source of all love, and as such is the purest, most powerful form of love in the universe. God is the womb of all consciousness, and all consciousness began in an unimaginably powerful state of pure love. The consciousness that God is permeates all things. God is the oneness and totality of the collective consciousness of the universe. In the words of the ancient alchemists, whose teachings can be found in the ancient text, the Kybalion, the all is mind. In other words, all that exists, exists within a great collective mind. The mind of the all is the highest and greatest sentience in existence, and it is constantly evolving and giving rise to more of itself. It is a presence that exists in all things. Every single being is imbued with the presence of God, and each of us carries God's exact nature within us. This means that we create exactly as God creates, through the power of the mind. We are microcosms within a greater macrocosm. Just like a fractal replicates smaller versions of itself infinitely, so too does God through the expansion of all creation in the universe. Each smaller part of that fractal shares the characteristics of the greater whole in the same way that we share characteristics of our source. Fractals, by the way, are often used to describe the formation of galaxies. Pretty neat, huh? Which leads us to yet another famous ancient alchemical phrase from the Kybalion. As above, so below. As below, so above. In other words, you have only to look within to understand the greater whole from which you arose. You are God individualized. You are a piece of God. You are one thread in a magnificent, perfectly harmonious tapestry of consciousness. And to access God, you merely need to go within yourself because each one of us is a direct doorway to accessing pure God or pure source. In other words, anyone can enter pure God consciousness and sit in the driver's seat of all oneness and cosmic creation. 
People often dip into such a state through meditation or other spiritual practices through which we are able to sense and know that God is an infinite, unconditional presence of love and that it resides at the core of your being. Now, all of that being said, I think it is very important to establish the truth that God absolutely does not judge. It is a contradiction to state that God is 100% unconditional love and yet that God could possibly judge. God is a force transcendent of all human polarities, and love has absolutely no opposite. In the words of the Course in Miracles, God is not partial. All his children have his total love, and all his gifts are freely given to everyone alike. Side note, I am also a person who has not always felt comfortable with referring to God with gender-specific pronouns. When the Course in Miracles refers to God as he, know that this is absolutely not a reflection of God as being male. God is neither male nor female. Again, God transcends all human polarities. God is the sum of those polarities combined in such a way that the polarities exist but cancel each other out as opposites to become something totally new and transcendent of its individual parts. We perceive no individual drops of water in the ocean. The ocean is a oneness of water in which the drops have disappeared. Similarly, God is simultaneously feminine and masculine, yin and yang, in such a way that the yin and the yang have combined into total oneness to transcend into something new entirely. But back to our point, God is a completely impartial force. God does not judge because it is a contradiction of what God is. It is impossible to sin against or betray God. There are no conditions in your choices or behaviors that you must adhere to in order to belong to God more than another person or to earn your salvation. You are already one with God. And a gift that God has given cannot be ungiven. In other words, the oneness that is exists as a law of our reality. You belong to God, you are one with God, and you are an unconditionally beloved incarnation of God. There is nothing but that betrays or changes that. In short, there is a sentience, a sentient source to this universe. It lives within all things. To know it is as accessible to you as it is to know yourself. Go within and ask to see the truth. As you ask, so the truth is given. God is love transcendent of everything we are capable of imagining. And that love makes up the core of your consciousness and the sum of the entire universe. And this is how I know beyond a doubt that there is absolutely nothing to fear. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up button to let me know if you enjoyed this chat and join the family by hitting the subscribe button and notification bell below. Do keep in touch with me on social media if you'd like, all of the links for which you will find in the description below. And if you want to get in touch with me, visit my website, sarahhall.com. I love you and I thank you for being part of this universe and this magnificent reality that we live in. Know until we meet again that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!